Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1661, Roulette Analysis. All right, Conrad sends in today's question. He says, you know, hey, with the roulette tables, uh, it's not completely random. The, some numbers are more popular than others. Can we take a look at the last 1,000 roulette results and uh, see which numbers are hot and which numbers are not hot? So, we're going to uh, have our list here. We're going to insert a pivot table. And I'm just going to put it here in uh, C2, click OK. All right, and we have our pivot table field list over here. I'm going to take the uh, last 1,000 and put it in row labels, which gives me the numbers from 0 to 36. And then I'm also going to take the last 1,000 and put it in values. Uh, see, but it wants to sum, and that's not what I want, because I don't want to give 8 uh, more credit than a 1, let's say. So I'm going to move the field list out of the way, and I'm going to choose here, uh, click on field settings, and say that I want to do a count. Click OK. All right. And to find the hot numbers, the numbers that are coming up frequently, we'll sort descending. All right. So 7, 17, 11, 21, 10 uh, are the hot numbers. Now, let's see if we can show just the um, top five. So value filters uh, just down out of your site is something called top 10, dot, dot, dot. And I want to show the top five items based on count of last 1,000. So there are the hot numbers. Now, what if we were looking for uh, the numbers that haven't come up in a long time, the numbers, you know, let's assume that it really is random, the numbers that are overdue, uh, then we go back to value filters, top 10, and we can ask for the bottom five items based on count of last 1,000. And there are the numbers that have, that kind of, that are, uh, let's say, overdue. They, they have not been coming up more frequently. So, a simple little pivot table uh, using a count of uh, each number can show us, uh, you know, the trend of those last 1,000. All right, well, hey, I want to thank Conrad for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.